All right, here's the, the 3D printed model of the intake. Well, it keeps the same cross section uh, throughout, even this choke point. And it's held together. It's got these just pieces of filament for dowel pins. And I'm going to glue it together and try it out, uh, dipping it in the wax this time. Here I'm <clears throat> melting down about five pounds worth of uh, golf wax. Here we're gonna we're gonna try try the old dipping method instead of ladling it over over the model. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully the model doesn't warp too much. Here's uh, here's what we got. I just lightly sanded it so far, just barely touched it up. So wait for that to melt. It's at 200 and about a little under 210 degrees probably. So. Yeah, I don't know how else to really hold this thing. So, maybe just something like get it covered and out. Oh, Jesus. That is like the worst dip I've done today out of all the randoms. Look at that. <laughs> or it's that 210 degrees really isn't doing anything good for me. I don't know. Yeah, that's not making a difference. All right, it's not perfect, but um, looks pretty decent. Good enough for prototype, anyway. So we'll go ahead and make a make the mold now. This is the setup. I put this mesh in between here, um, just in case we have any issues with this. Uh, the, the core of that breaking free so we'll see how this goes this is probably one of the bigger casts I've ever done so there is a problem I think they're they're you know having this much plaster of Paris could be uh, cause a problem but you don't know until you try so got got the amount that I'm gonna mix up here and I have a bucket uh, just in case I need to mix another batch real fast but hopefully hopefully this is enough hopefully I can get to not float so much so I'll get to it start mixing up some we gotta also have a uh, air hammer too uh, to sh shake the bucket after um after I got it in there so let's see all right this water is real cold too so that's pretty crucial to making this not set up too fast Well, there it is. That was about the most uh, unorganized, frantic mold making I've ever done. Sign. I have a feeling, holy Jesus, that'll do it. Yeah, that's a problem. See that? Big old hole right there. Hopefully it'll take the heat from it. And 
then just kind of solidify. All right. All right, so this is what the intakes look after that brutally failed attempt at pouring. You can see, obviously, where the uh, the last pour broke out the side of the mold and stopped, and then this is pouring it afterwards. And what I'm going to do is just weld up along this and grind it all out. Here's a shot of the finished part. Um, welded it up and ground it down a bit. Did a little sanding with a DA sander and a scotch by pad. And then I machined the inside here. Uh, and that turned out fairly well, so go ahead and test it out. All right, so any tips that I would have uh, for casting in the future, um, have everything set out ahead of time using cold water for your plaster of Paris and play sand mix works really good. Um, I can't remember if I've actually used like bead blasting silica sand or not, but that might be, that might be way better. Um, also using a three to one plaster of Paris to play sand mixture. Uh, I think that turned out better. This time I used a two to one and it seemed like a little bit more coarse. Um, and then next thing, I, if I would have redone that uh, spot where I had that hole in the in the uh, mold, I would have I should have taken some green sand and packed it in there instead of just using play sand, thinking that was going to stop the aluminum from flowing through it because it didn't even come close to it. I mean, it poured right through the aluminum or right through that play sand like it was nothing. You know, obviously like water would flow through it. So um, that's something different I would do in in the in that situation. Um, other than that, uh, the result wasn't terrible. Uh, there's obviously a lot more finishing work than I wanted to do, um, but it's the first shot at doing uh, something like this, in this shape. So uh, that's pretty much all I got.